day everybody. Um, what we're working on at the moment is um, stripping this cap down. Um, last year uh, it dropped a valve and we need to do a partial rebuild. Um, so we did that and uh, we've had trouble keeping the sump sealed since then. Um, the bolts kept loosening up and um, yeah and it was just leaking more around the seal around the uh, gasket uh, it's been leaking quite badly you can see the oil there where it usually sits on the concrete so what I have to do is drop sump down um, clean it right up uh, degrease everything Put a new gasket on, um, some sealant on it, and um, talk it back up again. It's a big job, actually, um, to get the around this side. To get the sump off, you get some bolts out from inside here. To get those bolts out, you got to take the axle out. Um, yeah, so it's a bit of an ordeal. We take the prop shaft off, oil lines to the full drive, ah, sorry, oil lines to the steering and diff lock. Um, we take the, the front um, pivot bush off. I'm going to take these oil lines off and go up to the cooler and plug them so you don't have to drop the tank, drop the oil, and um, then drop the sump off. So I'm going to start working on that and take you along for the ride.
I've jacked it up until we just see some light under this bracket here. You can see it's loose. Um, and then I'm going to measure the ground to this point here, which is. 859. That way, when we go to put the axle back under, I can jack it up to exactly the same height and it will just slide out or slide back in. And we won't have to adjust up and down to try and get it just right. Here you can see we've put a piece of RHS over the axle and under the steering ram. And just put a block in here and um, I've got that adjusted because what will happen, the, the whole axle is biased weight-wise to the rear. So when you pull it out it's going to want to spin. And we don't want to do that because that's going to uh, foul up under here. It spins and it won't come out properly. So put that in there to keep it level and those should drag along the concrete as we uh, roll it out. So we've got one on each side just to try and keep it nice and steady. There we go. Rolls out nice and easily like that. Now we've got plenty of room to pull these bolts out and drop the sump. What we have to do next is put a jack up under here, or somewhere here on the front, I think I'll put it here, and one up here behind the sump. We need to do that because this sump forms part of the um, chassis, so if we simply jack it up on the front here, and we take the sump out, it's losing a lot of its strength, um, so all the weight of the rest of the tractor is going to be hanging on a few bolts that connect the block to it, we don't want to have the block crack at all, so we support it at the front and the back, so that it's really sort of balancing there and it's not all the way to the track that's not hanging on the block. So I'll set the other jacks up and um, we'll go from there.
There we go, sumps off. Oh, that's not real good. Let's make sure that's not clogged up. Silicon. So I have to clean all those surfaces. Back them and uh, whack it all back together. I will carry on. So, we've got a fair bit done. We've got all the surfaces cleaned and prepped. Um, so, when I get back to this, which might be tomorrow, probably Monday, I will um, cut out a gasket for this, um, put it all back together, and the uh, job should be a good one. That's it for now, for tonight, I'm going to go home.